So you just bought your new Xbox Series X and now your Xbox One is sitting around and you're trying to figure out what you should do with it. Should you sell it? Should you trade it? Well, before you do, you need to do a factory reset. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Welcome back everybody. My name is Wayne and thank you so much for being here. And if this is your first time here, I make videos just like this one to help simplify your gaming experience. Now, like I mentioned in today's video, I am going to cover how to reset your Xbox One, but I also want to get into a little bit of a discussion about whether that's even necessary for you to do so. So to get started, let's go ahead and jump into the Xbox One so we can show you how to do that factory reset. All right, so the first thing you need to do is go over to your profile and systems, scroll down to your settings, then you're gonna go down to your system again and over to console info. Next, go down to reset console, and then you have two options here, reset every and remove everything, and reset and keep my games and apps. Okay guys, so that's how you do a factory reset on your Xbox One console. And just a quick little tip, that's the exact same steps you actually take on the Xbox Series X. So. If you ever need to do that, you can do that the same way on either system. Now, if you found that helpful, please make sure you hit that thumbs up. All right, guys, and so as you saw in the screen there, there are two different options that you can select when you go to reset your factory settings. Now, the first option is pretty simple. It's just going to completely wipe everything off of your account, set it all the way back to the original settings. However, the second option gives you a little bit more leeway on what you can do with that reset. The second option gives you the chance to keep your games and apps on the console. And now you may be asking yourself, Wayne, why would I want to keep the games and apps on the console that I'm giving away to somebody? And that's a perfectly good question. And my answer to you would be, let's say you're giving this to a friend or you're giving it to a sibling and you want to be able to play some of the same games. So rather than removing everything, this is still going to give you the opportunity to remove your accounts. So any achievements and all that stuff that you have tied to the account, all of that will be gone off of your console but your games and apps are still going to stay there and that gives your friend or your sibling the opportunity of not having to wait to re-download all of those games that you guys may want to play together now there is one other option that we haven't discussed and that is not even resetting your console at all now you might be thinking to yourself wayne i thought the point of this video was to learn how to reset your console and yes it was and i've shown you how to do that but i also want to give you that last option just in case you are gifting this to someone that you know uh, you may not have to go through all of these steps and as I mentioned in step two, the reason you may want to do the second option is so that you can keep all of your games and apps on there as well. And so that third option of not resetting your console at all gives you the ability to go in with your account and set it as the home Xbox. Now, the home Xbox feature is going to give you the ability to game share. And if you're not familiar with that, then please make sure you check out this video right here where I discuss what game sharing is. Once you have your home Xbox set up, you can go back in there go in and remove your gamertag account so you'll keep the xbox home setting there but you'll remove your gamertag specifically but then you're also going to be able to leave your games and your apps again onto the console and then when you give it to the next person they don't have to worry about going back in and downloading all of those games again they can jump straight into games with you right when you're ready however again if you are going to trade this in then go ahead do a full factory reset with the option number one that way it wipes it completely clean and you don't have to worry about anybody having any of your account information on your console and with that that's all of the options that you have the options are yours and i'll let you decide but let me know in the comments below which route you decided to take all right, guys, and as we discussed in the very beginning of this video, we do know that you are lucky enough to get that Xbox Series X and you are gifting your Xbox One to somebody else. But what if you still have that external hard drive? Should you give it to them? I'm going to say no, you shouldn't. And if you want to, please watch this video right here where I show you whether that Xbox One external hard drive will work on your Xbox Series X still. And with that said, thank you so much for being here. Happy gaming, and I will see you in the next one.